Oh, hey. Just sipping on my coffee today. And my awesome Superman cup from an awesome patient. Now, I want to show you guys this very quickly. So it's Saturday. I'm at my own garage this weekend. Uh, some, I have some things to prep. Um, that's why I chose to stay at my garage uh, today. But that's okay. I've got some errands run later. So, Superman. That's Clark Kent, right? And this says, I know it's backwards. This looks like a job four. And then it's blue. And then it's downtown the metropolitan area. So, Superman's not on this cup. That's because the coffee that's in here is cool. So if you pour a hot beverage in here, Clark Kent will disappear and then Superman will appear here and he's like flying in the air. It is awesome. I'll show it to you tomorrow morning. I'll, I'll try to remember to take a picture. Anywho, um, ooh. Perfect temperature. Today's brew is kudos to a friend slash patient slash colleague. Um, she got me the hookup at Costco with their three pound Kirkland uh, medium roast. It's awesome. Um, so I'm not a Costco member, but uh, she gave me a sample of that and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get some of that. So it's a good, quick, that's usually what I drink throughout the week. Um, so reflection very quickly. Today's workout was literally all shoulder intensive. So um, this is like the only equipment I have in my garage. Old school set of dumbbells, which I'm gonna demo with one today. A set of 35 pound kettlebells, and then the ladder is uh, a set of 25 kettlebells that I just have had over the years. Um, so uh, today's session was a lot of shoulder base, a lot of chest, a lot of pushing, pulling, um, uh, seated Z presses, all this fun stuff that really hones in on the shoulder blade positioning. And then I also did the uh, Amanda, the High Fly 22 workout in remembrance of our dear friend Amanda Strauss, who unfortunately lost her life four years ago. But um, I'll post that workout. I did it uh, in under 31 minutes. It was a doozy, and it was all unbroken. I was pretty proud of myself. So um, I'll post the workout if you guys want to give it a try. Go ahead. But. I want to give you a little tidbit. So, if people don't have like a dry erase board, oh, wait. So, make sure you have a dry erase pen, right, marker. And then you have one of those old school clear binders. This is an old one my dad had. Well, guess what? Oh my gosh, it acts as a freaking whiteboard. How cool is that? So make sure you get that binder that has that clear slip. And then I used that the whole time when I was marking my workout. So see, isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh. So um, I'm sure a lot of people have these binders uh, rolling around, but it could be your little whiteboard. Cool, take that. Oh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hello, hello. Hopefully everybody has coffee in hand. So. Um, last weekend, we did a little bit of a demo on trying to test and then retest or establishing a baseline on uh, imbalances in the shoulder complex. So um, I wanted to go over, I'll just talk about a little bit of this movement called the Turkish get up. It is the ultimate of all ultimate exercises. If you need one piece of equipment, um, you gotta be able to hold something above your head um, you know, it could be a, sand, a can of soup. It could be uh, a bag of rocks. You know, it could be a kettlebell, dumbbell, clearly, or it could be body weight. Um, Turkish get-ups is by far probably the most underutilized movement that's out there. It is my favorite movement. So I'm gonna demo that exercise, um, and I'll just kind of briefly go over the, the um, concept of it and the positioning and then I think perhaps we'll kind of roll off of that movement and, and kind of establish, you know, how should someone be positioned when they're going a Turkish get up. But 
fantastic rehab tool. A lot of people you'll see in the gyms um, in your typical rehab uh, facility, um, you know, I, I see a lot of people who are uh, within the, the fitness atmosphere. So um, if someone can't be able to move something with their arm and manipulate their body with their arm in space, then uh, that's not what we consider healthy joints, healthy movements. So this is just something that you can incorporate at home. Um, sounds like a dinosaur out there. Uh, clearly there's no dinosaurs that still live here. But, um, so I'm gonna demo a body weight Turkish get up. I'm gonna demo a dumbbell Turkish get up. And then I'll demo a um, kettlebell Turkish get up. And just kind of note my positions, note my, uh, my arm position, you know, my elbow's not gonna really be bent when I have something above my head. Note where my hips are, note where my feet are placed. Um, I wanna have good positions. I want shoulders stacked nice nice and strong to create what I, what I like to tell people uh, when I work on stability movements. Be a tree trunk, right? I shouldn't be able to go over there and push you over. Okay, so let me just demo this real quick and then I'll kinda explain, stemming off from last week, what we talked about open kinetic chain and closed kinetic chain. But first, a sip of coffee. So, yes. Oh my gosh, it is perfect temperature. So I brewed it at six o'clock this morning. I had a hot, a hot coffee before I worked out. I turned it off before I came out here. And it is, it is like perfect, because my body temperature is really up right now. Okay. Roll. Turkish get up. First movement. As if I'm holding something up. This is body weight. Arm out. First movement is trying to get up onto my elbow. Okay, next movement, getting up onto my hand, straightening my arm. Next movement, getting my left leg, the straight leg underneath of me. Underneath my hip. Next movement, using my core to bring me in an upright position. Next movement, I'm just going to stand up. And then I'm going to reverse that whole process. So I'm going to go back down with this leg or my left leg. I'm going to plant my hand to the side. I'm going to kick my left leg through, the one that I'm on my knee. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to re-bend my elbow. And then I'm going to lay down. Okay? I'm going to demo with a um, dumbbell. So I'll show you. I'll kind of demo on the other arm so you can kind of see the back side. Now, stemming off from last week, very quickly. Again, this is going to be another little short video, but first, a sip of coffee. Ooh. 
The Turkish get-up is a very complex movement, right? So there's different control points that someone has to utilize and think about, right? Going up onto the elbow, straightening out that arm, holding something up in the air the whole time, right? Standing up, knowing where your body's positioned in space. So the arm that is up in the air holding an object or the arm that is just up, we call that position or um, end point an open kinetic chain, right? My hand's not on something that's very stable, right? So my opposing arm that's on the floor is holding or attached to a stable object, i.e. the concrete, right? So that arm that's on the floor is termed a closed kinetic chain. So I have a closed and an open opposite of each other. Talk about lighting up an environment in the low back or in, in the in between the shoulder blades, right? And also this movement requires a lot of core control, co-contraction. Can I keep everything together? Can I keep my breath under control? And then focus on this quality pattern of movement. A lot of people can't do this. I remember when I first did my first Turkish to get up, um, when I joined CrossFit uh, almost seven years ago. Oh my gosh, I, I couldn't even hold anything. I didn't even know what it was. I'll talk, uh, uh, I mean, my, my mobility and my shoulders and my hips weren't even there. And um, now I feel like I definitely have better range of motion. So we have an open kinetic chain and a closed kinetic chain opposing each other. Very good. Well, guess what? The leg a little bit kind of does the same thing even though we're always connected to the ground unless we jump, right? But the, the legs are primarily in a closed kinetic chain position, right? But still, I have to coordinate that. One is gonna be pushing and stabilizing. One's gonna be contracting to help me stand up. And then uh, one's gonna be helping me control my descent down back into the laying down position. So, um, you know, something that, say if someone's going to the beach and they don't know what to do, what type of workout to do, you can always utilize this Turkish get up movement. Now, you can break that down. You don't have to do the whole movement. Maybe it's just getting up onto the elbow and coming back down, right? Core, lots of core there, right? I'll demo that and then I'll demo the standing up part or the side bend. Um, and then you can break down each position of that Turkish get up. So I'll, get, I'll demo these two different positions and that could be something that you can take in your back pocket and something to try and utilize. But you will probably notice a difference between one side versus the other where you might have your left arm up in the air, that's a little like wobbly. So we know that that shoulder complex needs some stability work, especially in this open, open chained type uh, position, okay? So with the Turkish get up, you can just utilize this movement here. Trying to get up on the elbow, right? I'm trying to be stacked. I'm not here. I'm not over here, right? My shoulders have to be kind of like in this T position. I'm driving with this leg out here. Drive, come back down. Straight leg is pushing into the ground. So that's a good movement there. And then you can practice just coming up into this position and getting into this little like hip thrust and back down. Again, my shoulders are stacked. My arm is now here, my arm is on over here. We're not doing yoga today. Okay? So, throughout my training process, last year, I would utilize those positions. That was what, what was programmed for me. So, um, that will really jack your heart rate off. I wonder what my heart rate is right now. Ooh. Okay, so um, the Turkish get up. Oh my gosh. So my favorite exercise. I think that is a great rehab tool. 
You can do anything with body weight and you can do anything with a dumbbell or kettlebell. Break those positions down. So next time we join in on some coffee talk, I'll kind of talk about uh, some points of performance on where the, the knee, the hip, the shoulders, um, what I'm thinking throughout that movement uh, need to be controlled at. Um, I'm constantly thinking, okay, my eyes are, are pointing at my hand, I'm looking at that kettlebell. As I get in an upright position, I focus my eyes forward as I'm standing up. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I just wanted to talk about today. But uh, try those tests from last week just to gather some information on your shoulders. See if one side's a little bit harder than the other. And then you might just try some portions of this Turkish getup where you might work on that first portion, maybe the middle portion, or the standing up. So I'll kind of go over each position um, next time uh, and, and kind of break that down a little bit for you. But I wanted to introduce this movement um, that is very underutilized in the physical therapy, for, uh, physical therapy world as well as the fitness world. People don't know what this is, right? This is kind of like a gymnastics type movement. I'm not a gymnast, but I'm glad I was introduced to this through um, the, the, the field of CrossFit. And um, so I, I think that will help create uh, stronger shoulders because of these control points that are utilized in the Turkish show. But, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, we'll keep stemming off of this Turkish get up, perhaps the, the next video. Uh, I'm not sure about next Saturday. I will keep you guys posted. We might have to push that to Sunday. I'm not sure. But um, we'll continue to break down the Turkish get up and my whole thought process behind that as I'm trying to build bolder shoulders. And um, yeah, so each week I'm going to kind of also uh, reflect on my training, what I've learned, what I haven't learned, because I'm on a new training regimen. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me if you're in the South Charlotte area. Let's get those shoulders looked at. Um, come visit for just physical therapy and uh, send me a DM if you need any help or any direction that I can point you to. But have a great Saturday. I'm going to go eat all the food and... Drink more colder coffee because my temperature is up. I just finished that workout. So I'm going to post the Amanda workout. Um, definitely miss you, Amanda. Um, but, you know, that's that's the least that we can do is just try to do things in remembrance of people. Right? And just kind of think about them, and, um, you know, if they were doing that workout or, or something, whether, you know, it's exercising or or you know, maybe talking with a loved one that you haven't talked with before, like what would they do, right? Don't hold grudges with people. Anywho, continue to do your part. Um, the world's crazy today, but if you do your part, you know you're doing well. So I will see you guys later. If you have any questions, definitely send me a DM. And this video will be reposted to the YouTube page. Check that out in as well as to the Instagram storyline. So have a good Saturday. Cheers. No Superman. Salute. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.